you had better manners in person than expect what did you expect me to do go around punching everyone farting and stuff <laughs> You're much shorter and more mank than I was expecting. Great to see you and Kel at the weekend. Sure. Kek up. Thanks, Breakspear. Bulb. Definitely not five for one. Thanks for coming to the meetup. Thanks to those people that made the effort. Sorry to the people that couldn't come. NA and stuff. Rory. Laziness. Obviously don't give a shit. Pretender. Calling you out as well. Good morning, Beryl. Three head rave. Don't give me froze emotes. What were you doing? What was more important than a, a meetup? It was fucking good, actually. Yeah, thanks everyone for coming the other day. It was really good. I had a good time. You had better manners in person than I expect. What did you expect me to do? Go around punching everyone. Farting and stuff. <laughs> we'll see what TwitchCon's like next year. I understand, obviously, a few people, a lot of people have still got a bit, um, still a bit scared of traveling, aren't they? You know what I mean? I feel like that was all right the other day, right? Everything was outside. It was really fucking good. Where was it? A place called Caffeine and Machine. It was very good. I'm thinking of making Caffeine and Machine a, a yearly thing. It's obviously... Unlike... Varsity flew in. But he's a maniac. It's not worth... Unless you're staying for the weekend and going travelling and exploring somewhere, it is not worth flying for. Because it's a lot of money. But for any UK people, I think it's a nice... It's a nice place to meet it's outdoors there's beer there's good food it was a good it was a really good place to meet little was it expensive it was expensive it was five pound ten a pint but it had really really good beers it had acai and stuff five out of ten on your pizza yeah they didn't even cut it they didn't even cut it up smithy ordered a pizza he had to roll it up like a carpet and eat it like a like a calzone it was dripping everywhere as well Good to hear the meetup went well. Might have to join you all one year BRK steer. It was good. Did you guys see the um you guys see the pictures? Chicken Boona took loads of photos. Why why is Chicken Boona took sneaky photos of me? It was really good. I had a good time. So like this is the car park. <laughs> Matty, I knew it would be you. <laughs> so, I had to go in the van because the Clio didn't make it. The wipers wouldn't work and it was raining when we set off. But it was a, when we got there, it was a really nice day, actually. And, and then look, it had all these benches. It had, like, huge, like, um, areas for nice cars to go and park in. Obviously, the Clio would have been prime there. Good to see you and Kel again on Saturday. Wicked. Good to put names to faces with a few of the outbreak too. Was a brilliant day. Also happy 85th anniversary. Thanks, Eddie. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, it's good to see you. You was away dogging. All right. The whole place was just like full of like really cool electric cars. Anthony came and he was streaming uh, and he had to wear like a killer outfit because he's, he's mental. But yeah, it was, it was really good. Even with my stupid haircut. That Porsche was nice. But yeah, I had a good time. But it's like, um, it was only like a three hour time slot. So you arrived there, you, you booked tickets, you arrived there, you got there like, I think it was half 12 till half three, was it? Or 12 till half three or something. Um, but we got there and sat down, talked for a bit, ordered some food, talked some more. So if anyone wants to come next year, I reckon we do it in like, would spring be a good time? Like late spring, early summer? Yeah, maybe May. You'll have the baby by then. We will, yeah. Well, I'll just blast down in, in Cleo. Kel and baby can stay here. I'd love something like this. Chat, should we all chip in and we'll all get it? We'll all get it between us. Yeah? We'll all get this between us all, yeah? We'll all share it. Look how nice it is. It's Jensen, Jensen Button's old uh, VW. It needs a bit of work doing to it, doesn't it, though? Because it's going rusty and the paint's a bit shit. Like, it's well used. A nice car like yours, yeah? Someone posted one. Tez, was it you? Or Sordi? You posted one on here the other day and I watched it over my breakfast and it was great. It was, a, it was a 30 minute long. 
There it is. This is in the Lake District. There's a Lamborghini in a barn, and the owner of the barn died. This is a family friend, and he's like emptying the barn, and they were gonna they were gonna leave all these cars and just put them on the scrap heap because there's a couple of Astros in there. They're probably not worth that much, but there's a Lamborghini in here. And apparently someone brought the Lamborghini here in the 70s, said can I store it in your barn, and never came back for it. Down there, and it's under a pile of... Who has a Lamborghini in the 1970s, drives to the Lake District, sticks it in someone's barn and says, can I leave it in here to store it, and never goes back for it? Either stolen or drug dealer. Our doings. So we're going to try and pull all that out, dig the wheels out a little bit. This YouTube video, right, is filmed, edited, and presented better than most things on TV. Ugh, don't breathe it. No. Don't breathe any of it. <laughs> well, that's where a mouse has been living. Okay. Do you know what, as well? It said there's owls in this barn, right? And obviously a big thing with old cars is mice getting inside them and either burrowing into the seats and the foam and chewing everything up and chewing all the carpets up and the wiring and stuff like that. Um, it's really bad for cars in barns like rodents and, and, and whatnot. But he said there was an owl in there. He said there's loads of owl shit everywhere. How good is it that that owl... If you are in the mood for some garage prawn and react handy, this was a good watch. Good to just skip through. I got it. The owl has scared the mice away. So it's, it was, at first they were complaining that there was loads of owl shit everywhere. But then, if you think about it, the owl has actually been protecting the car. How cool is that? But I think it's been playing with the, uh, uh, with the, with the underlay rather than the, the, the perforated leather. Can you see these perforations? The detail on the, the leather. I need to hear my YouTube voice. My YouTube voice is just my voice. And I do think they've, they've if anyone's into cars, this show's really good. We're in the middle of nowhere on the outskirts of Basingstoke to meet a guy called Paul. Twat. He does like his pick and mix. He does like a really, really broad array of, of, of vehicles. And that's why I had to come and share this with you. This, a friend of mine brought this. Um, it's got 40,000 miles, I think it's got on it. Uh, it's, it's low, low I have one of them. miles. Uh, I say rare color, it is rare color. In I love one of them. My friend built this. Um, it was completely standard when he brought it. And yeah, it's now got an R32 swap. Um, what? LSD. Oh. Just casual, just yeah. an R32. KWV3 suspension on it. It's a full sleeper. Should we do some rate my takeaway and take over Rory's takeaway slot? Because Rory's uh, not available today, so I'll cover his shift. 